Rainbow Cakes. You may already have your candy in your costume, but as we count down the Halloween, Chef Lauren Chapman is here with a recipe to help you prepare for your party. She's the author of Cake Keeper Cakes. Lauren, good morning. Good to have you here. Thanks for having me. So over 100 cake recipes, is I, that right? I wasn't worrying about my weight while I was working you, on this You book. baked a cake every day? I cake every to. day? I really tried to. I was on a mission to develop a bunch of recipes that were easy enough and quick enough to make in the space between homework time and dinner time. Oh, oh so that's it. So they're going to be easy, that's right. simple steps. But then. delicious enough that if you dress them up, you could easily serve them at a dinner party. So for Thanksgiving, uh, for, I should say Halloween, Halloween, we've got a pumpkin chocolate chip pound cake. This could be cake Thanksgiving. Could be too. Yeah. Halloween, right, great for snacking, great for lunch boxes, mm -hmm. and great for entertaining. So what do we start We're with We're going to whisk together some dry ingredients. It's flour, mm -hmm. baking powder, baking soda, salt, but also some cinnamon and some nutmeg and some oh. cloves because spices are so delicious mm -hmm. this time of year. They are. And we've got mm -hmm. some butter and sugar in here. Right. And we're going to mix those together. Already, whoops. Run away, mixer! I don't want that to go the whole and on to the your butter tie. doesn't spatter okay. on us. Now, yeah. once that's done, we're right. going to add the eggs one at a time. One at a time. Go. One at a time. One. <laughs> there you go. Oh, 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 oh you yeah. almost one. got away from me. <laughs> it's very important to keep these ingredients at uh, room, get these ingredients to room temperature before uh, you start making your cake. That will ensure that your batter will come together nice and smooth mm -hmm. and that your cake will rise nice and high in the oven. All right, once okay. those are mixed together, we're going to keep the mixer on. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, we're out of control again. All right, now mixer. <laughs> we're going to add the pumpkin? pureed pumpkin. That's right. And when you're at the supermarket, be careful to buy 100% pureed pumpkin because right next to it there will be some pumpkin pie mix. That already oh, has yeah. the sugar and right. spices oh, gotcha. added. You want to get the pumpkin. And then a little vanilla? A little bit of vanilla. Okay. And then we've Looks got like some milk. Milk, regular milk. This is milk. There are all the wet ingredients. Okay. And now... And put in the dry ingredients. I, let's just slow Stop that, that. Slow that down a little bit. Yeah. We get right. it. Do you want to <laughs> use the like spatula that. to... There and, you go. That's... <laughs> yes. That was good. And when you're making this at home, add that a little bit more slowly so that you don't get that Oh, bad. no, that's why you, you go for that. Because right. it's and kind now, of ghostly. This is what it looks like next step, There's right? There's the batter all the mixed batter. up. Mm, nice and smooth. Great. We've got a cup of chopped nuts. Ooh, now you could, you could leave the nuts out. If I'm, you have I'm not a big nut you fan. You could. If you're not a nut fan, leave the nuts out. That's a cup of mini chocolate chips. Okay. And then we're going to mix that. Yum. It's going to be nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. And I like mini chocolate chips because they won't sink to the bottom of the cake like big ones. So you get chocolate in every bite. Mm. Once that's all mixed together, we've got a prepared pan here. It's greased and floured. This mm -hmm. is a nine-inch loaf pan. Just scrape it into the pan. That's funny. Our director was just greased and floured. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> is that what you call it? Yeah. I don't even know what that means. I don't either, but I just thought I'd say it. <laughs> he thought it was funny. And it, it was. Smooth the top. Mm -hmm. Put it in the oven for about an hour, maybe an hour. a little bit less. So at what temperature? I mean, how do you know when it's done all the way through? Bake it at 350, right. uh, and you can stick a wooden skewer or toothpick in. Mm -hmm. If it comes out dry, then it's You're done. It's good, and it looks like And that. how long do you let it uh, mm -hmm. cool in the pan? You, you know what? You should let it cool uh, in the pan for about five minutes. This one is obviously cool. Otherwise, I'd be using oven mitts. <laughs> Overturn that. Or you're impervious to pan. Voila. That's right. And then flip out. Oh, that's pretty cool. Overturn it. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. And then let's slip and back then here. And see what we got over here. So here's the All right, little here's little the cake. Little that's, this is great for snacking, mm -hmm. uh, great for lunch boxes, but also, will you hand me a plate and I'll... Certainly. And then what do you put on top? What kind this of cream is This is cinnamon that? whipped cream. It's uh, sweetened mm. whipped cream that's flavored with a little cinnamon. So if you want to serve this at Thanksgiving. What a great idea. And Chef, what, what other cakes did you bring? These, I make cakes in every shape, every size, all ingredients, all flavors. This is a spice cake with black pepper in it. Mm -hmm. It's got a lemon wow. glaze. And? and that's a banana and chocolate upside down. Oh, gosh. Lovely. That looks amazing. That smells yeah, fantastic. Chocolate and bananas are great this time of year. So. Oh, wow. The cake. Fantastic. Keeper's cake. Yes. That's Wonderful. Right. Recipes are on Thank our website so at todayshow.com.